Thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly Swoop along with Mallory Safaste. Well, the loss of the key bridge is likely to cost drivers more down the line. The state is already thinking about when it should increase tolls to offset lost revenue. WMAR 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington joins us now to tell us how soon we could see a price hike. Elizabeth? Yeah, Mallory and Kelly, the Maryland Transportation Authority is expecting to lose millions of dollars in toll revenue while we wait for a new key bridge. The agency predicts a statewide toll increase will be necessary in 2028, a year sooner than it had planned. No key bridge for four years means the state is going to have to wait four years to collect tolls on that bridge. The Maryland Transportation Authority expects it will lose roughly $143 million during the wait. To that $141 million, it's a, it's a combination. It, it's hazmats, it's passenger vehicles that are going south on 95 that's choosing to go around the beltway instead of through the tunnel or the reverse coming north. The MDTA says a statewide toll increase will likely be needed by 2028, a year earlier than originally thought. Meanwhile, the agency is still spending on the cleanup. On it's Friday, the MDTA's board approved a budget increase, right. an extra $25 million for salvage and debris removal, plus a discretionary $15 million if the MDTA exceeds its budget. That's all in addition to the $60 million for cleanup costs that the state already received from the federal government shortly after the collapse. And we anticipate insurance proceeds will cover these costs. The MDTA is also counting on the insurance money from Chubb, the company that insured the key bridge, to cover part of the reconstruction costs. The authority anticipates that it will resume receiving federal funds after the insurance proceeds are exhausted. Beginning in fiscal year 2026, it is assumed that the authority will be reimbursed by the federal government for eligible project costs at a 90% federal, 10% MDTA split. But Maryland leaders and the Biden administration are pushing for the federal government to fund 100% of the cost. The White House just sent a letter to the Speaker of the House requesting $4 billion in emergency funding, which would include the roughly $1.7 billion needed to rebuild the bridge. The Biden admin is trying to tie funding for the key bridge to funding for other disasters like the Maui wildfires and tornadoes in the Midwest. Governor Moore has remained confident that a deal will get done, but the MDTA is planning for the chance that it doesn't. Because our current assumption is that federal funds are at 90%. You know, there's lots of work that's being done um, for 100% federal funds, but as of this second, it's still 90. So our assumption. When it comes for the come, when it comes to the timeline for the rebuild, the MDTA hopes to select a contractor by the end of this summer. The design phase would then take nearly a year, with construction not starting until 2025. All right, Elizabeth, when can we expect Congress to vote on whether or not they're going to fully re? fully fund the rebuild. It probably won't be until after the end of the summer. We're expecting it to happen sometime after Labor Day, but there's no firm date set right now. So the, the campaign from the Moore administration and the Biden administration is going to continue likely for a few more months. And it is an election year. Of course it is. All yes. right. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth, for that report.